Thanks for waiting and giving us some of your time, Graham. Um, personally, I thought it was a very, very good performance this evening. It was a good performance. Uh, it was a very entertaining game. Um, you know, both sets of players should be proud of a uh, good standard of football, a good level of football. Lots of, lots of good open passing football with um, some some good goals. And uh, you know, if both managers would probably look at it, both sets of players would probably look at you know, a fair result, um, being slightly biased. I thought we just shaded it and maybe could have nicked it. Very, very good goal, particularly from Elvis. I thought the first. Goal. Yeah, it was a one, it was, you know, fantastic goal, and you know he's he's got back he's a little bit off his game the last couple of weeks. I had a little chat to him before the game, and see he got any problems at all. He said no. I said he's just off your game. You know, the last couple of games you haven't been quite your usual sharp self. I know he's had the flu, um, mm -hmm. but tonight he put in a, a, a massive performance and a, and a quality goal. And it was a, a very fine <coughs> and very pacey break by Sam Harrell that led to it. Sure. Yes, I think, um, you know, um, not just that moment, not just that moment for Sam. I thought he had lots and lots of good moments and uh, particularly second half, you know, he's made some major runs and obviously that's very demanding and tiring, but he put in a major shift second half and did a lot of good defensive work as well and I thought he had an excellent game. He said to me a couple of weeks ago that he was very determined to show working supporters the player that he really is, acknowledging that he hadn't produced in the first half of the season. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, he's, he's only a young boy, he's not, he got, he hasn't got seasons of football behind him at this level. And I think, if he was being honest, it probably just took him a little bit by, you know, by a little bit of, you know, bit in awe of the situation, um, playing at Kingfield for him and um, a little bit demanding for him, you know, um, and expectations and pressure. So that's why you just got him away, just to take yeah. the pressure off him. Uh, find your form, because he, you know, he had a little bit of, he did some good pre-season work, you know, in, in, in certain games. But uh, he found his form at Bournemouth, scored a couple of goals, got his confidence back, worked perfectly, come back to me now and he's a, he's a different player. Yeah, I suppose um, given that we'd lost to Dover and we'd beaten Dover, a draw was almost inevitable. Really. Well, yeah, well, the record's good against Dover. Yes. You know, um, you know, if we played Dover every week, we'd probably be top of the league. Um, but um, you know, they're cracking games, and you know, there's a little bit of an atmosphere all the yeah. time we play these games. And um, I'm sure both sets of players look forward to it, just like both sets of managers look forward to the games. Okay, um, there's been. Lots of speculation in newspapers and on websites and uh, newspaper websites and the internet and so on about both your current position and your future in the last couple of days. Have you got a sort of general overall message for the supporters to let us know where you stand? No, no, not, no, no major statement on that. You know, the situation is we lost a game of football on Saturday. We played a game of football on Tuesday and we play a game of football on, on Saturday in, in, in the trophy, which is a nice, nice game to look forward to. After that, so there's a meeting on Monday, you know, we have lots of meetings, mm -hmm. um, you know, we don't want to be sort of creating um, some kind of, you know, situation here where, you know, uh, what's going to happen on Monday, is there a major thing going to happen on Monday, you know, it's, you know there, there has, what just disappointed me was just the reaction of my supporters um, with a defeat one in, you know, the, the defeat in 14 games. That, that, that just shocked me a little bit, that, that reaction that was all, and I was a little bit disappointed of it, and a little bit disgusted sometimes at, at some of the supporters' reactions. Not, not their reactions to, you know, um, football opinions, but their, their, their reaction, their personal, you know, their personal language sometimes, the comments that were made is what well, I don't think is appropriate, not just for me or any manager, I don't think it's appropriate for the game, and. It's a shame, and sometimes what you're in danger of is that the minority will persuade the minor the majority in the end, and you know it, it goes on, and you know it seems to be at the moment the trend for for managers to be um, on the merry-go-round and be getting the uh, the bullet. So um, it, it was just the, it was just the situation, um, and the way our certain sections of our crowd reacted. You know, we lost a game of football. We yeah. played poorly. You know that I, happens. I think it's important that you what you just said there because I think probably a very large majority of working supporters would be very, very happy for you to remain manager for as long as possible. Yeah, and that's nice to hear that, and I'm, I think I'm aware of that. I think I'm aware that, you know, um, working supporters are, are good supporters, and, you know, I don't want to get into an issue here, I don't want to get into a, um, a situation where it builds up to be a confrontation between me and the crowd, or my management team and the crowd, and I don't want that to happen, you yeah. know, and that's... And that's what I'm trying to prevent from happening. And if we can nip things in the bud and move on as quickly as possible, that's what all parties want to do and, sure. and put this to bed and, 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 and grow together and, and try and be happy together. That's what we want. The fact is that, you know, 
Woking Football Club and this team here tonight are not going to win every game no. of football every week. Um, some supporters at certain times find, find that hard to take and I can understand their feelings. No one's more disappointed than me when my team don't perform, when my team play poorly, when my team loses football matches. And the players likewise are, uh, you know, depressed men when they lose a game of football. No one likes that happening, when, you know, and I know it, I fully understand supporters' um, desires and sometimes it goes a little bit over the top for them and their frustrations comes out, I fully understand that as well. But, you know, um, you know personal, personal statements to to individuals and then, you know is 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 not right. Sure. It's not right, and when it gets personal, it's not right. Whoever it is, wherever it is, and that's not right for the game. And it's certainly not right for Woking Football Club because it has a good image, and, it, and it's a family club. Um, and you know when when certain things like that, that happened, you know it makes sometimes people step back and look and think. Is sometimes you know you can get to a situation where you catch you at the wrong moment. You think. What, what what are we doing? Is it worth it? You know, yeah. when when it when it when it comes to that. So, um, but it's done, and hopefully we yeah. can you know we can talk and internally resolve certain sure. situations going forward. You know, if it happens again, or you know, we don't want we're going to be renowned for these situations. So you know, maybe things will be put in in, in, in into position now going forward, which might hopefully remind supporters that they you know. Not just us, but all supporters can't behave in in in, yeah. in certain ways. Okay. Um, lastly, and very quickly, because you've given up a lot of your time already, um, just one or two points about player news, if you like. Joe Kean wasn't here tonight, so um, has his loan finished? What's the position? Joe's there? loan come to an end on Sunday, and we just you know between the two clubs, ourselves and Rushton, Rushton, you know, trying to sort something out with with Joe. Um, so that we can hopefully take him long term to the end of the season or even maybe our player to the end of the season right. and um, hopefully sort out something at Russian's end. But, you know, that couldn't be done between Sunday and, and today's game. Yeah, you know, um, so that will develop further on in the week and, and we'll see how that pans out and hopefully at the end of the week um, Joe Keir might become a Woken player again. Excellent. And um, is there some news about loans from some, for some of the younger players? Yes, we have Daniel Sinton, who's now come back from his loan at Walton and Hersham, but has gone straight away out to Hendon right. um, to you know continue his progress. And we have obviously Ollie Palmer at St Albans, and now we're going to let um, Ola Sogmanu go out to um, Borehamwood yep. to give him a month of development. And it's you know I'd love them to be here, but obviously at the moment they're they're knocking on the door, um, and you know they're when they go out on loan. We, I continue to watch them, obviously, and it's all part of their progression and their development. And um, I'll make a statement now that you know the two boys, Ola and Oli Palmer, are going to be, whether I'm here or the new manager here or whatever's here next season, they're going to be two major players for Woking Football Club next season. Excellent. Many thanks. Good luck on Saturday. Thanks very much, David. Thank you.